Oh, it's Quelly Q, Minnesota, the game. Today we're going to talk about relationships. So I was in this relationship with this girl who actually had a man who went to jail or whatever. So, you know, at the beginning, I'm kind of knowing, like, this shit ain't going to last forever, my nigga. She got a man that's in jail. When he get out, she probably going to want to end up scooting back with that nigga. But at the time, I'm, things were so harmonic and going so fucking good, my nigga. I didn't think nothing of it. I'm thinking, like, cool. I might be able to cuff this one. I'm just being realistic. So... I mean, I know niggas gonna look at this and be like, nigga, you cuffing bitches? Yeah, nigga, what? Shit, I ain't trying to be alone forever, my nigga. What the fuck you think this was? You know what I'm saying? Shit. I mean, niggas don't want to be lonely the rest of their motherfucking lives and shit, man. Like, like, I'm just telling you how it is. Anyway. So, uh, big gang. Everything going good with the, with the girl, right? Everything going cool. You know what I mean? She's treating the nigga right. I'm treating her right. Everything straight. And I fell in love with the girl, man. I ain't gonna front. I fell in love with the girl. She fell in love with me, too. Eventually, things got a, got a little haywire. You know, certain addictions got in the way. Motherfuckers started just doing some bitch, conniving shit to each other. You know how niggas is when they own something and then they, you know, they want more of something and things just ain't happening the way it's supposed to. Don't date another addict. I don't care if somebody's addicted to the Bible, my nigga. Do not date another person that's addicted to that Bible because two people addicted to something, they can never get enough of you. You understand? So, you better off just doing it by yourself until you get better. And then when you get better, God will put those things in place, put those people in place with you at the right times. All right? Anyways, look, I fucked up, my nigga. Like, I, I ended up falling in love with the girl. Days wasn't all what they seemed cracked up to be. And it was bogus. I'm telling y'all the truth. I love the girl, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Giving her that business, my nigga. Like, the, the love making was the bomb. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everything about it was just cool. Everything about it was just great. So then, what I couldn't understand is... Why Why does everything bad have to happen to a nigga? You understand? Like, why do niggas always gotta go through some, some bogus ass shit? But whatever. You know, shit. Shit happens and, and niggas move forward in life. Niggas get it together and they just keep it moving, right? So that's what I did. You understand? I ain't gonna lie. At first it was rough. It was rough. I mean, niggas was like, damn, how come this bitch ran back to this nigga? How come she, she don't want to fuck with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that nigga or something. And you know you that nigga. You know you the bomb. And you know you treat a girl right. You know what I'm saying? But situations just turn into... Situations don't always turn the way that you want them to be. And that's Okay. That's okay, cause you gotta put God first before you put anybody else ahead of ahead of you. Don't put nobody else ahead of you. You put somebody else ahead of you, you're gonna fail. You understand? And what I did is I put this girl ahead of me, ahead of everybody, and I fucked up. Cause nowadays I put myself ahead of everybody the fuck else. You understand? Be honest with y'all, man. It took a minute. It took a minute to get over everything. But things started getting better. And after a while, it just uh, it gravitated. Things got better. And who the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah keep it moving. Shit, the fuck you looking at? It's my block. <laughs> I ain't on that. Anyway, look. If you're heartbroken, man, you just gotta just pray to God, just just thank the Lord every day that things gonna get better. You know what I'm saying? Thank God that you're here. That you got a, a chance to just live another day. I mean, it's beautiful outside, man. You know what I'm saying? And as hard as things may be, you're here. You got another chance to meet another girl. Uh, another one who's actually meant for you. Not something that's just a distraction to get you through to the next girl. Like, nah, my nigga. Just be cool. Be cool. Be patient. And let her come.
myself.